everything. If you're willing to be, provide for my kids and everything. If you're liking the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And smash the damn like button. Don't be a bitch. It's 90% bullshit. But it's entertaining. What do you look for in a man? Can you handle, like, a girl that works in the industry? I'm 19 years young. I'm self-employed um, as an adult model. This is my mother. <laughs> do you think a man wants a woman who works in the entertainment industry? Or a woman who works in a more modest profession? I mean, it doesn't matter what a man wants. <laughs> really? At the end of the day, you could be making, like, times two of what you would at a modest job. As long as, you know, you're loyal and you're not dumping around. But do you really think that a man is super comfortable with his woman in an environment like this, though, full time? If they are insecure, yeah. How does that make a man insecure if he just doesn't want his woman around, you know, other, other guys who are obviously going to be going at her? Because if he's sure of what he is, what he brings, how he treats you, and he knows that you're happy with him, why would you want to cheat or do anything else? Unfortunately, whether a woman is young or old, she thinks like this, the majority of them. See, right now, she has a lot of options. And unfortunately, there's a mass amount of men that are willing to take and accept a woman like this because they're so desperate and trying to get their little noodle wet. Gentlemen, we have to hold ourselves to a much higher standard. Stop accepting the bare minimum. Stop accepting trash. See, women are naturally manipulators. They say things like, if a man spends a lot of money on you, that makes him a real man. Why? Because it only benefits her. So to this woman here, a man that doesn't allow her to show her body to the world it's labeled insecure. Fellas, don't fall for that BS. An insecure man would accept all of this because he has no value. A man of value would never accept this type of behavior. And that's on everything. What do you hate the most about dating? Men don't put in any effort. No effort. They just expect us to just have everything ready and they have no plan like buy me flowers yes. buy me coffee i do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you i don't recommend coffee dates come to my house and bring me coffee and let's go out on a date it doesn't have to be crazy yeah but just plan something yeah so these guys that you're talking about have you already slept with them yes don't you think that maybe you just you know gave it up a little bit too easy so he's like why do i have to put in any effort for it well how do we how do we change that <laughs> Are you gonna give me some advice? By making him wait, or finding a guy who you know is down to fuck, but also build something too. Well, I don't know where to, I don't know where to find them. So is it that men aren't interested in doing these things, or yes, are yeah. you just you know choosing the wrong men? Oh, no, I think I think both. Yeah, both. <laughs> They're lazy. Yeah. Do you like good guys though, or do yeah. you want somebody who's gonna treat you like shit? Good guys. 50, 50. I, she, she's different than me. 50, I don't 50. like the whole treat a woman like shit and that's the way to get her. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. So why do you keep chasing the guys who aren't really chivalrous with you? I don't Preach. know. I don't know. Preach. We needed this wake up call. Why is that a thing? Bruh, the dating scene is, is doomed. These two women are complete airheads. Go ahead. Keep laughing. Everything is a joke. See, you don't understand what you're about to be embarking on. You're going to be hitting that wall soon. And when you hit that wall, your jokes and laughs are going to turn into cries. And questions like, where have all the good men gone? Men don't talk to us anymore. Why? And let me tell y'all young whippersnappers something. Back in my day, man, it was hard to get the cheeks. I mean, you had to put in work to get them cheeks. But nowadays, they're giving that shit away for free. It is more harder to get a woman to make you a goddamn sandwich than it is to get the cheeks. That don't make no goddamn sense. And to be honest with you, as a man, if you're not looking for a relationship right now, you're, you're winning. You're winning. You only have to do the bare minimum to get the cheeks. 
Ain't that right, Tommy? Got the draws, okay? <laughs> what do you bring to the table? Everything. I got two kids. You're a damaged goods lady. You know what I mean? So I'd, everything. If you're willing to be, provide for my kids, and everything. Everything like what? My kids, my life, my mental health. What? Everything, like, everything. Everything you want to know about me, I'll bring to the table, for sure. Ah. All right, now by a show of hands, who's going to sign up for this one? Go ahead. Don't be shy. Raise your hand. Who wants to sign up for this? I thought so. This is pure comedy at this point. This lady just listed all the red flags a man should avoid. God damn. I mean, shout out to social media, man. Without social media, man, we would not be able to tap into the thoughts of the modern woman. I mean, these women are clueless. They really think that men are out here working hard, trying to level up just to take care of her and her kids. All I know is I better not ever catch y'all trying to simp for a woman like this. You heard me? But for all the women that made the cut in this video, I got one thing for y'all. One more moment. She belongs to the street. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Do your boy a favor. Please smash that like button on your way out. I'm out. Peace.